Hi friends, Will Silvers here, Driver Mojo, coming at you with some uh, thoughts for the day about working for Central Transport. Oh my gosh, what kind of, how do I start? Where do I begin with the problems with this company? Working out of Indianapolis Terminal, been here since January, and it has been getting progressively worse. We've turned over management multiple times. Um, everybody's, you know, safety, 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 and then comes in, and just stuff just continues to snowball and get worse. Today, um, the dock is full of stock. I came in at 8.30, and it is 11 o'clock, and I'm just now hitting the road with only half of the product on my truck because there's so much stuff piled up you can't get to it you can't find it you can't get to it um, and then the lack of operational forklifts makes everybody compete for the the, the small pool of forklifts that are available are never charged so they're constantly it's just a constant pain in the butt uh, there's more broken pallet jacks than there are good ones uh, the dock is gridlocked right now and add to that the fact that they don't even have trailers There's 52 trailers sitting full of stock that needs to be broken down and put into other trailers But they don't have trailers to put them into they, we have nothing but empty doors today and all of the um, Trailers for the, the day shift guy was called the pedal routes. All of those trailers don't have much stock, no, much freight on them. So I'm rolling out of here literally. I have eight pieces in in this in this trailer right now. Eight pieces because he's like, you got to get rolling because we're gonna have to do empty to make deliveries and then make pickups later in the day. And time is ticking away. Already about two and a half hours into it. 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11. Uh, it's almost, you know two and a half hours into it, and I'm just now hitting the road. I got an hour drive ahead of me to start making my uh, my delivery. So it's just ridiculous. And then uh, because it's so because it's so piled up, they want to uh, they want to tell us we gotta come back come in on Saturday or Sunday. You know, we're gonna come in and there's gonna be the same issues there. More people coming in and working more hours. Now don't get me started on hours. This would be a great job. They, they dangle that $10,000 sign-on bonus. Ooh, watch for companies that offer a $10,000 sign-on bonus. I can almost guarantee you, if they're offering a $10,000 sign-on bonus, guess what they ain't paying? They're not paying you overtime. There's no overtime with this job. I was making more at my previous job because you know, even though I was making 23 an hour, I was making 34 on the overtime, and I'd make 10 to 20 hours of overtime every week. Okay, now they don't pay overtime unless you hit over 55 hours. Who the hell wants to be there that long? I don't. I've never hit overtime, and and I work some pretty long days. And honestly, the reason for the long days is I, I'll get done with my if I get out in a reasonable amount of time, come back, and I get on a waiting list for a forklift. Sometimes that's nine to 13 names deep. And then you get one, I've been back on that list three times because I get one, it's dead. Go plug it in, get another one, and something goes wrong with it, it's got issues. Um, get, get another one, it's the same one that I just plugged in, the first one. Yeah, they keep unplugging and putting them right back into the rotation. They keep uh, putting broken ones back into the mix, and oh, everybody wiggles the cord. Everybody tries to plug it. Oh, reboot! Oh, just reboot it. You got ten people doing that a day. You can't get anything done. By the time you do get signed on, then you got to go up to the tower and ask for more time because you've timed out or it automatically log you off. It's ridiculous. And then the lack of doors. Okay, now we're stock stockpiling everything into the bays, and there is no room to move in that place. Yeah, beware of sign-on bonuses. Beware of central transport. Don't, don't go for it. I am actively looking for other positions, and you know what? I am going to bet these companies. I'll go visit their dock. I'm going to go talk to the, not just talk to the recruiter. Recruiters. So far, I've gotten a couple of recruiters that I've applied for home daily position. Oh, we don't have any of those. Well, you know what? Guess what? Central did that same freaking thing to me. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any home dailies. Uh, that's what I applied for. Why did you have a listing out there for home daily jobs 
and then you're just going to try and get me on night shift. Night shift is even worse. Guess what happens there? You don't get paid unless the wheels are rolling. All this freight not ready, you're not getting paid while you're waiting for that unless you're on a forklift. And good luck getting on a forklift. You're on a wait list. It's just ridiculous. I was, I was working about 60 hours a week and only really getting recognized for about 45 of it on my paycheck. Yeah, wasn't worth it. Jumped the day shift. Now I'm getting paid hourly, uh, but it's there's no overtime. It's straight pay. Yeah, it's really ridiculous. I'm, I'm making about three to four hundred dollars less every week um, because they they don't pay proper overtime. Now, yeah, I've gotten a couple bonuses. I've gotten about five thousand in bonuses, but I've lost about eight thousand dollars worth of pay. So. Where, yeah, they can afford to pay you these uh, $10,000, and they're not gonna give it to you all at once. They're gonna give it to you a little piecemeal, you know? So, yeah, it's just, it's just really not worth it. I've gotten about $2,000 worth of bonuses so far, and I've been here six months. My next one isn't for another three months uh, at, my, uh, at my nine month or something like that. I'm not gonna be here. I'm not gonna do it. If you're looking to look for a job, Central is the last place you should apply. Don't get roped into their dock to driver program and, and be an indentured servant for this company because this is the nightmare. Watch one of my other videos and I'll show you a day in the life of Central Transport. Yeah. Truckers beware. Go out there and get a good job, know your worth, and get paid for what you, you deserve. That's all I gotta say. See you later.